nothing that you need. Nothing that you need to do. Welcome to the Trust Terminals Leadership Dialogues. Christina and I are today talking about new kinds of leadership because we're starting a leadership academy end of October in near Munich. Yeah, we do that and we're looking forward to that. Yes, and we're in the middle of preparation. We have lots of interesting topics to talk about and we want to, to start sharing what we're working on with this kind of video dialogue. And the core of this whole academy is to understand how the inner qualities I develop as a leader relate to the quality of space that I can create for something to happen. So how does that work? What kind of space and what kind of qualities are we looking for? And Christina has this amazing metaphor of a fridge. Uh, so explain. <laughs> I just came up with this uh, metaphor and I really like it. I think everybody of us, we have got all of it. And, uh, and everybody of us, are, maybe if you don't have that problem, maybe you can contact me. But um, <laughs> I, in my fridge, there are so many things I never acknowledge, I never see. And they just enter my fridge and at some point of time they they go because they're uh, lost or they're not any more good. So, um, yeah, and I didn't really love this kind of things which have been there. And it's a metaphor of um, how we see things and how we um, take care of those things uh, in, in life. And, uh, and so um, everything is there on the shelf and it's waiting every day. And it says, okay, Lele, I want, I want, grab me, grab me, grab me. And, uh, and we don't see it and we don't acknowledge that it's there. And I think um, that is one of the most important qualities um, a leader should have that to, to see what is there. And yeah. It sounds like unused potential, right? This is something yeah. that I've seen a lot in organizations that uh, the potential of people, the potential of creativity, the potential to, to innovate is not uh, pulled into existence. People are not engaged. People are not bringing their whole self and all of their ideas to work. And uh, it seems like we need an openness and acceptance in the space so that more things can happen, right? You, you were talking about clarity, I think, right? Simple and, cl and clear. That's what I heard yesterday from in the uh, meditation uh, mindful mindfulness summit. Yeah. Um, there was uh, this teacher Joseph um, wow, Eisenstein. I don't know. Goldstein. Goldstein. Uh, Goldstein. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's that's his name. Yeah. And uh, he said, okay, from his master, he learned it's simple and easy. That that's the thing he should look for and. And I think all these um, teachers, they really, they live it and they're very authentic and being simple and easy can reach them very easily because they're um, like an empty cup. They're, um, they do have space. And yeah, like a, like a fridge, cup. right? Yeah, and it's, it's like the fridge. They, uh, you can see what is there on the shelf. They're not some, it's not crowded. It's, uh, mm -hmm very easy to understand and and you know okay that's the thing i can i can do something about that and uh, i can really contact the person and yeah. yeah sometimes my daughter buys something i have a teenage daughter and she's vegan and she buys something uh might buy something that ends up in our fridge and w my wife and i go oh, wow we never bought this before well, do we want to eat this and then our daughter comes up with this amazing recipe and cooks something and we go like wow this is great and this is the kind of thing that we want in organizations, right? We want people to feel free to bring in stuff that is not, has not been seen before at work and that contributes to something new. Um, another thing that I heard you mention was this focus on change and that you wanted to change this, like how, how we force things to change and what do we do instead? Yeah, I think most of the people, they think if they think about change, that you have to do change. I think yeah. change is happening all the time. And I oh, think this yes. is kind of 
this is a kind of misunderstanding that um, we don't have to look for more change. We don't. We only have to acknowledge that change is there. And if change is there, then we have to let go of things. And this mm -hmm. is, I think, this is the uh, challenge we have because letting go needs some time to feel what you, what is, uh, what is the thing you you like to let go, and uh, and then okay, take the decision. To really do that and and to take also the feelings which go with that let's see like like anger or like sadness or really uh, feel that and take the whole thing are you talking about emotions yeah i think uh, you can't do that without a word <laughs> yes yeah, it's, it's it's that that thing we really need i think uh, i heard about um the new quality for our um, century as leaders we, we need is like being human. I think wow. in, in this uh, robotic um, area which we are coming now, um, so, so being human is, is one of the most important criteria and it gets most or more important than being skilled. So that's how we avoid the war with the Terminators? <laughs> being human? Having human yeah. leaders? Yeah. I love that. I love that. Yes. And I think it's, it's, it's more important to, to not, not to bring in all these um, capacities of, of human people like being empathic, being compassionate about yes. things and um, yeah, these are loving people and, and taking care of them and um, really be there and being present. I think uh, that, that's a quality for so many people are searching for. and. Um, so having a workplace where you really see, okay, I'm seen, I'm, I feel good here. And um, so that's what we want to create in our academy or in support uh, with these leaders. Yeah, that they the space <laughs> where rocking is okay, right? Yeah. So that people can rock and roll and bring things into existence that are unseen before, unheard of before, that instead of just surfing the waves that the changes in the economy and the changes in the market create, we are creating the waves, right? So we are the space where new things emerge. And as leaders, we need this simplicity. Yes, I love that. And this openness, acceptance, and compassion and forgiveness, right? Not necessarily everything happening in my fridge is something I love, something I like, or something I understand. And it's very sim similar with an organization, right? If everything that happens in my organization is just what I like, what I know, then I will be overwhelmed by change. I will be stressed and frustrated. So what we need is to open our hearts. Yeah, that's a really, that's an important thing. Open the hearts and have a big foundation in yourself, like not being overwhelmed by other things like being being a, an ocean which is uh more or less calm and and inviting and and people know okay i can come to you i can i can discuss with you and um and that, 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 yeah that, that's a good quality and um leadership like an ocean so that the employees can feel like on the beach <laughs> I think this is great to close. So what do people have to do to join us, to enjoy our presence, to enjoy this thinking and to learn how to create these spaces? Yeah, then please come to our web page and read maybe some more about uh, the Academy, which is yep. um, www.trustcheminos.de. Yes. And, and this video will be posted on the web page, so people will probably just have to... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> or they come from other yes. and, and send us an email and, uh, and say, okay, yes, I want to participate. It's end of October, we are starting. And there will be um, four meetings and during the next 10 months. So it's a 10 month program. It's a 10 month uh, program. It evolves over time. Uh, the idea is to have four residentials of two days to have uh, weekly webinars of one hour, similar to this conversation, but maybe with more specific focus with uh, well-known guests from the field. We are thinking of inviting Brené Brown, Dan Ziegel, uh, and other influential people from our community uh, for inspiration. 
and we would like you to join. Yeah, we want to get this going and we want to have more of this world which takes care of yeah. the people. And I think we should like to finish with this beautiful singing voice of yours. And of yours. <laughs> Nothing that you need to do. Nothing that you need. Nothing that you need. Nothing that you need to do. You're welcome. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon.